Hey, this is Josh back with another LinkedIn training. We're still working on my uh, trainings that have me in the corner, so you can see me down here using my uh, my webcam. So um, anyway, I just wanted to put this video together for you. Um, the topic of this video I'm going to cover is uh, something that a I got a question on uh, from a student, and it's uh, where do you add um, or can we see an updated video on where to add keywords to your LinkedIn profile to make your uh, LinkedIn profile appear in more search to help you get found more easily. And so I wanted to, um, to go ahead and put a quick video together just to show you where I put keywords in my LinkedIn profile and um, just to give you an idea of, of, of what to do. So um, if you go into LinkedIn, I'm going to go into my profile and we'll take a look at this. So um, the, the places in your LinkedIn profile that you want to uh, include keywords uh, my opinion again, um, you know, I've tested a lot of this and, and tried a lot of different things and this seems to work pretty well um, You know you certainly in your in your um, In your headline you want to have uh, Keywords in there a lot of people just put whatever their current job is so um, It's it's you know most of the time you scroll through LinkedIn and you can do this with with your LinkedIn uh, Connections, but scroll through there and look and most people just have what their their position is so I try to add um, I've talked about this in other videos and in my uh, LinkedIn Blueprint course, um, but I try to add something that tells, uh, you know, pr prospective employer or prospective, um, you know, client or customer what I do and how I can help them. So some sort of benefits-driven headline. So in this case, I have sales and marketing manager with a track record of exceeding goals, and then I have whatever my position is after that. Um, so. You know the first part of this has is keyword rich so I want to be found for sales and marketing manager so those are keywords that I am gonna put in there um, you know uh, success can dealer success consultant uh, again something I want to be found for so your your headline is the first place that I would add keywords so think about keywords that people in your industry are going to be searching for that you want to be found for so if that were um, uh, if you were a real estate agent you might want I mean, obviously, you'd want real estate agent, realtor. Um, if you were a buyer's agent, you want you know accredited buyer's representative. If you were, the, if you had that designation, or buyer's agent, or something like that. So, um, you know, but I also think you want again to have a benefits-driven headline to where it tells people, um, you know, how you can assist them. So, in the example of a real estate agent, it might be, you know, helping buyers um, find their dream home for the best price or something like that and then some of those keywords in there uh, the next place I would put them I put keywords is in your summary your summary is the uh, one of the largest um, text areas of your LinkedIn profile so again I recommend doing a, a benefits driven um, LinkedIn summary but you can also I also add keywords in a skills area at the bottom here so um, you'll notice this is a consistent theme on my LinkedIn profile on not only my uh, summary but also on my um, previous work experience sections so it's just a list of keywords that relate to skills or, or things that I've done and things that I want to be found for so automotive digital marketing uh, e-commerce email marketing social media marketing um, just different you know areas uh, where I have experience and things that I want to be found for so um, so your summary is the second portion of where you should add this and the way you do add keywords here uh, on the the newest version of LinkedIn is you click this pencil icon right here and so here is your headline so you can edit this right here um, and then you know here is if you scroll down you're gonna see your summary so here's your summary so you can go in and add um, you know keywords in this area so I would recommend using this and like you got my course you can use the um, I have a LinkedIn profile template uh, uh, LinkedIn profile expert template that you can use to create this uh, but just something to where you can save this so um, anyway so that's that's where you would edit this this section and another place that I would do I'd recommend adding keywords to your LinkedIn profile is in each um, in, in sections of your uh, previous work experience so um, and I'm violating my own rule here I don't have it on the most recent uh, work experience that I have but um, you can see for most of my work experience I'll have this specialty section down at the bottom so it's just things that I uh, that I am uh, have worked in um, 
things that I have experience in and also what I want to be found for. So account management, automotive digital marketing, B2B sales, SEO, SEM marketing, web design, email marketing. Um, if you scroll further down again, um, next job, you're going to see those specialties in here as well. Digital marketing, internet sales, lead conversion, SEO, SEM. So add a specialty section that reflects um, the things that you did, your, some of your responsibilities in that job, but also skills that you gained from that job and things that you worked on that you'd want people to find you for. Because this is what is going to make your LinkedIn profile rank when somebody searches for these skills, whether that's a recruiter or a client, um, you know, or a, a business partner, uh, they will search for these types of things. Um, and they, they'll, you'll rank better for them. So for a while, uh, automotive digital marketing, um, I was ranked in the top couple of people on LinkedIn for automotive digital marketing. So, um, you know, and that is out actually how, or one of the reasons I think I was able to uh, get the current job that I have was because people found me for that, that set of keywords uh, related to that. So anyway, um, those are the areas of your LinkedIn profile I would definitely recommend adding keywords to. Um, you know, if you are, if you're looking for a, a more extensive premium training course on this, uh, you can check out LinkedIn um, Blueprint Masterclass. is my LinkedIn premium LinkedIn course. Um, I have a lot of videos on YouTube as well, but uh, this video or this course will teach you how to get an amazing LinkedIn profile in the next 30 days. It'll help you go from if you're a beginner to advanced. If you're already advanced, it'll help you add to your LinkedIn profile. Um, in a way that helps you get more customers and clients and uh, potential recruiters uh, contacting you. So if you're interested in a premium course for LinkedIn, check it out. It's at redlineacademy.com. Um, and uh, so that's where the course is at if you want to get it. And I'll put a link below this video to the course if you need, but it's redlineacademy.com if you want to get the course and you can read about uh, my experience. You can read about my um a uh, story on LinkedIn and how I grew my profile from basically nothing. Um, if you want to, I have a 19-step LinkedIn profile checklist that you can get here. It's, it's also free, so just put your email address in here and just click send it, Josh, and I'll send that over to you. So that's a PDF document. Um, but read about the course. I think you'll, you'll um, you know, I talk about everything that I cover in the course here. Uh, but a lot of people have taken the course and, and gotten really good results from it. And you can see some of the um, you can see some of the, the feedback from uh, people that have taken the course as well. So anyway, I uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. So uh, thanks for watching.